Lingxiao Palace. I am a fertility fairy of the immortal realm, the Canary Yunmian. The reason I have descended this time is to complete a fertility assignment that is said to be hellishly difficult. If I succeed, I'll outrank even Yu Lao, heaven's top employee. The target is an emperor with a harem of 3,000, this will be a piece of cake. How is this difficult? And it's even ranked as hellishly difficult? How did they put it, the target is incredibly handsome and also incredibly difficult to attack. They failed because they were all entranced by his beauty. What a damned joke, I've been heaven's premier fertility fairy for years, what obstacles exist that I haven't yet faced? What pretty boy exists that I haven't yet seen? How could a mere mortal emperor possibly be that attractive? Emperor Fen Xiao It's useless, I have no interest in men. Hmm. I've been discovered? Crap, gotta scram. Where did this canary come from that dares to spy on us while bathing? Ow, let me go you tyrant. Servant. Eek, this emperor is not wearing any underwear. Awaiting orders, your majesty. We believe this canary to be insulting us, have it prepared, we wish to eat soy marinated canary. Um, yes. Bastard emperor, you want to eat me? I'll remember you. Your majesty. Your majesty, you finally finished bathing, we concubines have been waiting for you so impatiently. Your majesty, we'll take good care of you tonight. So many pretty ladies, so many beauties, what kind of man could be able to remain calm? It's in the bag now, this emperor must already be beside himself with impatience, this task was way too easy. Scram! Who allowed you to enter? Is he crazy? The battle is over before the guns were even drawn? Is he even a man? From now on, no one is allowed to enter without my permission. Now get out! Yes, your majesty. No, how could I possibly let a chance like this go? Take this divinity fertility arts. Even deities have difficulties escaping this technique, this will surely awaken that emperor's beastly. Huh? What the heck? That jade ornament can reflect my divine arts? I, I've been forced to return to my true form? Hmm. Was there not the form of a woman there just now? Could I have seen wrong? Luckily, I was able to change back in the same instant, otherwise I would have been exposed. I told you to keep an eye on this canary, and this is how you are doing so? By allowing it to fly around as it pleases? Let me go. This one deserves to die, this one was inattentive for but a moment. Forget it, just leave. If you tarry you will die. Yes, Emperor. This one will leave immediately. Imperial Quarters not only did he handle me so roughly, he dares to throw me? What a plump bird, it'll definitely taste great stir-fry. Tyrant, I'll end you, if it weren't for the sake of completing my task, I'd teach you a lesson so hard. What are you shouting about? Are you insulting me? This bastard emperor can't possibly speak bird, can he? How did he guess? I have documents to review, don't bother me or I really will stir-fry you. This emperor he's stubborn, divine arts don't work on him. And what's more, it's the middle of the night but rather than seeking a woman, he's working. I can't take this. Stop looking at reports. Aren't you interested in women? Are you not afraid of dying bird? I'm doing this for your own good. An emperor who doesn't share his favor is nothing but a hoodlum. You've been very excited since the moment those concubines appeared. Do you want me to attend to them? How smart of you dear emperor, I knew you could speak bird. This bird can understand human speech? How interesting, I'll keep it. To attend to them, that's something you'll probably never see happen. Why not? Because I can't perform. What? Unbelievable. Are you for real? What kind of man would just admit that? Where's your dignity? That's enough. Just stay there, I'm going to sleep. Damn it, it looks like this really is. If the emperor can't perform, how the heck am I supposed to complete this mission? Forget it, I'd better get out of here. This task is way too hard, I'm giving up. I'll just go back and suffer you Lao's teasing. Ah, what a blinding light. Queen Pregnancy Goddess. Yun Mian greets Queen Pregnancy Goddess. Queen Pregnancy Goddess. Yun Mian, I came here especially to inform you that Feng Zhao's heir will become the supreme ruler of the world. 
therefore you must succeed in your mission. Queen Pregnancy Goddess, I won't hide anything, this task is too hard. My divine arts don't work on this emperor, and he can't perform. Even if I knocked out a concubine and delivered her to his bed, it would still be useless. This mission isn't one that I can complete, so whoever wants it can go ahead and- Whoever completes this mission will be promoted, receive a raise, and be greatly rewarded at the year-end review. I, Yun Mian, am definitely the best person for this job. Queen Pregnancy Goddess, just leave it to me. I didn't expect this mission to have such generous rewards, if I complete this, wouldn't that send me straight to the top? I believe in you, but you must remember this Yun Mian. As this matter involves the supreme ruler of the world, make sure you find a good person to bear the pregnancy, understand? I understand, I'll definitely complete this task. For promotion's sake, I'll finish this task no matter what it takes. But seriously, he has such a handsome appearance, yet he can't perform, it's such a waste. Wow, he's got such long eyelashes. His nose is so straight and his lips look so nice too. I want to have a taste. Ah, crap, he's waking up. Crap, I've got to run. Who's there? What's wrong? I'm already awake, so what are you still doing lying on the ground? Leave me alone, I don't want to move. Just now, I can't believe I wanted to kiss that bastard emperor, I want to die. Hmm. <laughs> Where'd this peach blossom come from? Could it be that there really was someone here? Not good. That's the fan that I dropped. Come to think of it, it seemed there was a woman lying on the imperial bed, trying to kiss me. Surprise. Do you want to die? No, no, no. I don't want to die. Let me go. Let you go? My imperial branch was very nearly crushed by you. I was wrong, believe me. I'm even more concerned about the health of your imperial branch than you are. Starting tomorrow, you are to lose weight, I expect you to have lost 10 pounds by then. Is the emperor crazy? Have you ever seen a canary that weighs more than 10 pounds? Stop chattering, now be a good bird and stay there for me. I'm leaving for a bit, you're not allowed to dirty my imperial bed, got it? The peach blossom is gone, could it be that I was mistaken? And that woman, is she my imagination as well? That bastard emperor wants me to lose weight? And also threatened me? I could endure it but a bird doesn't have to. You don't want me to dirty your imperial bed? Then I have no choice but to leave you a big surprise. Done. Time to scram. Number 7, Number 8 While you were outside, did you see anyone enter my quarters? Responding to your majesty, this servant did not see anyone. I understand you are dismissed. Yes, sir. My shadow guardians are excellent martial artists, if even they didn't see anyone enter, then could it be that the woman was truly just my imagination? Hmm, <laughs> where did that fat bird go? What the heck is this? That bird is dead. Servants, capture the canary that I have been raising. This is an order for the imperial kitchen, I am having canary hot pot for lunch today. Yes sir. Who's cursing me? Where did that canary go? It was just here. Find it quickly, this is a great chance to earn some recognition. Quickly, quickly, everybody search. Bastard Emperor, all I did was use magic to conjure up some fertilizer on your bed. Was there a need to cause this much fuss? Who is it? Who dares to ambush me? He, gotcha. Imperial concubine, I caught that canary. Shwefe. Well done. I will go find the Emperor right now and we can eat canary hot pot together. His Majesty will surely praise this achievement. Canary Hot Pot? That bastard couldn't actually be planning to eat me, right? Oh, so little sis Shuefei has found the canary and is planning to go see the Emperor? Surely you wouldn't object to bringing me along as well. Wan Fei. Wan Fei? Oh my, of course I wouldn't object. I'm just afraid that a single canary wouldn't be enough for three people to share. That's not a problem, I've also brought a parrot. We can add that to the pot as well. You want the emperor for yourself? Dream on. Darned woman, sticking her foot in the door. Big sis, you're too thoughtful. Not at all. I didn't expect the concubines in the emperor's harem to not only rival goddesses in terms of beauty, but also have such a harmonious relationship. Servants, prepare the palanquin. 
We're heading to the Imperial Palace. We have to get there faster than that slut. Where's my pal and keen? Carry it over quickly. I have to get there first. What's going on? This is speeding. Imperial Palace Gate. Faster, faster. Charge. Eunuch D, I brought the canary that the Emperor was searching for. Could I trouble you to announce me? Eunuch D, I brought a parrot to enjoy together with the Emperor in a hot pot. Imperial concubines, please wait a moment. This one will go report to the Emperor. Look at these concubines, such perfectly fine, beautiful people, turned so lustful and cruel. Damned witch, you want to eat me? In your dream. This fairy? Parrot bro, are you from the Divine Realm? Oh, you can understand me, so you're from the Divine Realm too? My name is Yun Mian. I'm a fertility fairy and my mission here in the mortal realm is to help the Emperor Baron Air. How about you? So you're fairy Yun Mian. I'm an overseer of fate from the main office. My name is Shin Chuan. Because I changed someone's fate, I was punished with becoming a parrot. Shin Chuan? Could he be the one admired by all of the female immortals? The immortal lord said to be loftier and colder than the coldest winter moon? Wait. You're Yun Mian, the number one beauty of the immortal world, right? Come Xiao Mian Mian, come and have a seat in my lap. What's this bullshit about being lofty and cold? So the rumors are fake after all, he's clearly just a lecher. Are those two birds having a conversation? Whatever, they're just hot pot ingredients anyway, it's normal to talk to someone who's in the same boat. The emperor has decreed that the canary and the parrot are to be left here. The two imperial concubines may leave. What? The birds can stay but the people must leave? In the Emperor's heart, I'm lower than even a bird? Let me in, I want to see his majesty. We concubines wish to serve you. Please give us a chance, your majesty. Your majesty, the birds are here. This bastard really is planning to boil us. Hang on, this man is. Hey Shin Chuan, why aren't you saying anything? Weren't you super chatty just a moment ago? Were you scared speechless? I told you earlier that I was punished with becoming a parrot after I changed someone's fate, didn't I? The person that I was talking about is this guy. What fate of his did you change? It couldn't be. 3,000 beauties without a single show. So it was you. It's all because of you. You could have changed it to anything, so why did you have to make it so that he can't perform? It's you who made my task's difficulty shoot straight to hell level. I, I was drunk Xiao Mian Mian, let me go, please spare this bird. You've taken all hope from this bird, so I'll be sacrificing your bird life to heaven. So noisy, send this parrot to the imperial kitchen. Let me down, I'm gonna murder him. Yes, yes, quick, send me to the imperial kitchen, I'd rather be made into soup than stay here with this violent woman. You dare call me violent? Stay here if you've got the guts, I'll show you what real violence is. Yes, sir. You have already been caught and returned to me, yet you ended up fighting with a parrot. Such liveliness, it appears you have not the least bit of guilt for dirtying my imperial bed. Why would I need to feel guilty? Those turds were made from my divine chi. If eaten by a mortal, they can cure illness. Since you've been exercising all day, your muscles and bones should be nice and warmed up. I'll just add you straight to the pot. Hey, bastard emperor, you really are planning to eat me? Don't think I won't hurt you with my divine arts. What's going on? I haven't even used any power? No, I didn't think it would flare up now. That's a silver needle? Damn it. What's going on? I was only joking. I didn't even use my power. What is happening to Feng Xiao? Hey Feng Xiao, what's wrong? Wake up. Not good. His meridians are a mess. At this rate, his life is in danger. What do I do? If he dies then there's absolutely no way that I can complete my task, I have to think of a way to save him. Looks like there's no other option, all I can do is pass some of my divine chi into him and stabilize his vitals. Then let me just make this clear, I'm not making light of you, I'm doing this to save you. That was more than a dozen breaths of divine chi, but at least he's finally out of danger. That was close, I need to sleep for a while. Did I faint because of a relapse? But why do I feel any after effects this time? In fact, I feel full of strength. Little canary? 
sleeping so soundly, but it seems as if I fainted, you stayed by my side. I'll allow you to sleep on my bed this once. Speaking of which, I feel like I had a dream where I was saved by a fairy and she kissed me. I've had a dream like that before in the past, but you've been the only one by my side these past few days. That fairy couldn't possibly be you, could it little canary? What am I thinking? This is just a lazy, mischievous little canary. Servant. Your Majesty. How long was I in this room? Responding to Your Majesty, you were here for six hours. Only six hours? I understand your dismiss. Yes, sir. I was able to force out the seventh silver needle this time. Before I would sleep for at least three days after forcing out a needle, yet this time I awoke after sleeping for only six hours, could it be that there really was a person who helped me? Ah, uh, I slept great. Eh, I'm on the imperial bed? At least that emperor still has a conscience, I didn't give him my divine chi for nothing. Miss don't go, let's thoroughly explore life together. Miss, would you like to become my concubine? So long as you come with me, we'll have plenty of fun in the Imperial Palace in the future. Xin Chuan, you lek. You're even going after birds? Let that bird go. Xiao Mian Mian, why are you interfering? Could it be that you're jealous? Who the heck would be jealous over you, you bastard? Why aren't you dead beneath a cleaver? It would have saved these innocent palace birds from being defiled by you. How could I die by the hands of a mere mortal? I used my divine arts and got right out of there. All right, enough. Right, Chin Chuan, I have something to tell you. Last night, Feng Xiao coughed up blood and passed out. Good gracious, a canary and a parrot can understand each other? So that's how it is. It seems like that silver needle had been concealed inside of Feng Xiao for quite some time, I don't know the reason. It seems like he must have met with an assassination attempt many years ago. Oh wait. What is it? I once came upon an ancient book called Silver Needle Seal in the Heavenly Library. The book said that the Silver Needle Seal can cause the body to lose certain capabilities, perhaps the Emperor's inability to perform is related to these silver needles. Did that book say anything about how to cure it? I'll have to go back to the Divine Realm to find that out, I'll go back and check out that book right away. If this issue can be resolved, perhaps I'll be reinstated. Good good, hurry up. If we can solve the issue of Feng Xiao being unable to perform, then the day I complete my mission is just around the corner, isn't it? What an audacious maid. Hmm? A lowly palace maid such as yourself dares to not pay me respect? How bold. You know. That's not it Imperial Concubine. This one didn't notice Imperial Concubine in time, this one didn't do it on purpose. How presumptuous. Imperial concubine, you- You even dare to talk back. Servants, come. I want you to slap this maid until she's unrecognizable. This maid is actually prettier than I am. I have to ruin her looks, otherwise she might manage to seduce the emperor. It's that Shuefei again. Last time, she almost had me cooked, and now she's bullying a maid? Looks like I'm going to have to teach her a lesson. Yes. Please have mercy Imperial concubine, let this one go. Take this. What happened? Why does it suddenly stink so bad? Who dares to pass gas in my presence? Imperial concubine, the stench is coming from you. What? How could I smell so bad? Quick, catch me. Imperial concubine, are you all right? Damn it, I'm so dizzy. Wait, what is this? What did I fall on? Imperial concubine, it's dog poop. Such a disgusting thing is stuck to me. I'm going to bathe. Imperial concubine, look out, there's a pond. Ha 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 ha. You're doomed for the rest of the day after getting hit by my technique. This is payback for capturing me. The imperial concubine wants to ruin my face. What should I do? I want to go home. Granny, I miss you. Speaking of which, this maid is quite pretty. Maybe I could arrange for her to end up with the Emperor? Let's meet with her first. Miss Maid? What a beauty, is she a fairy? You are. What are you spacing out for? Here, wipe away your tears. Shui Fei's already run off, so there's no need to be afraid anymore. But if Imperial Concubine Shui were to return, then- There's no need to worry, she's definitely having a very interesting time right now so she won't have any energy to spare to cause trouble for you. 
Aw, save me. Imperial concubine look out. I've had enough. I'd barely gone a hundred meters, and I've already stepped in dog poop and fallen into a pond. What is going on? Imperial concubine. It must be that maid. She's a demon. She must have cast a spell on me for this much disaster to befall me. That's probably not an imperial concubine. That maid looked so weak. It must have been her. Hurry up and bring her to me. I'll force her to reveal her true form and cower before me. Yes, ma'am. What? You want to leave the palace? Yes, my granny is very sick and doesn't have much time left. I want to leave the palace to take care of her, but management won't let me. I never thought she'd also be such a filial child, not bad. She's a great match for the emperor. I can help you leave the palace. Once you've completed your filial duty, you can come back. How could you possibly? The imperial palace is heavily guarded. If I get caught trying to escape, I'll lose my head. So that's what you were worried about. That's a simple matter. After entering this array, you can return to the waters of the spring. The waters of the spring? That is to say, it can send you directly back to your hometown. Don't worry it's fast, effective and absolutely not dangerous. You are, who are you? Could it be that you really are a divine being? Stop asking so many questions, didn't you say you wanted to leave the palace? Hurry back and take care of your granny, remember to come back once you're done. Thank you, Miss Fairy. A good heart and a beautiful appearance, she's a good candidate to bear the pregnancy. If I'm really able to set up that maid with the emperor, then everything will be perfect. In order to prevent anyone from noticing Yuner's disappearance, I'll appear as her to the eyes of others. This is perfect, I can take this chance to evaluate the other concubine's characters as well, and see if there's anyone else who's suitable for the emperor. So this is where you were, you lowly maid. Shue Fei. Why were you looking for me, Imperial Concubine Fei? You're quite audacious for a lowly maid, who allowed you to refer to yourself as me. Just see if I don't. Imperial Concubine Shue, if you have something to say, just say it. There's no need to be so polite. You, infuriating. Daoist Wang, why haven't you dealt with this demon yet? Very well, Imperial Concubine Shue. Just leave everything to me from here. You demon, why haven't you revealed your true form yet? Just sit there and wait to be captured by this great Taoist master. Me? A demon? Are you blind, you trash Taoist? What part of me looks like a demon? This Taoist can tell at a single glance that you're a harbinger of misfortune, a boar demon. What? That maid is a pig demon? But she's so skinny, maybe she's a low cholesterol pig? How scary then, does she eat humans? I'm a fairy who holds the title of heaven's foremost beauty, yet you dare to compare me to a pig demon? This is slander. You want to quibble with me, boar demon, I'll make you revert to your true form. These yellow talismans reek of alcohol, they must be soaked in wine. What's this bullshit about being a Daoist? He's nothing but a con artist. That Daoist is so strong, look at those flames, could those be divine arts? Will the boar demon reveal her true form? Lowly maid, hurry up and show your demon form, I'm going to make you fear for your life. Take this evil demon. There's no such thing as demons but since I've accepted Shue Fei's money, I've got to put on a good show. I've already prepared the actual boar, all I have to do is knock out this weak little maid and then switch the two. Such nonsense. Scram. Mr. Daoist. You dare call me a pig? You must be tired of living. This, this was a battle of techniques, how could you use a physical attack? You deserve to be hit, the first thing you did was insult me and call me a pig demon. You didn't bother to check whether I was okay with any of this, try insulting me just one more time, I'll stomp you to death. Forgive me ma'am, please lift your foot, this maid doesn't look that heavy, so why does it feel like I'm being crushed? So he was just a swindler? I can't believe I trusted him for a moment. No way. How could a real Daoist get beaten up so badly? That maid is so strong, she can really fight. How could a normal person have that much strength? She must be a demon. Someone come and capture this demon. Is this maid really a demon? Look how badly that Daoist got beat up. Could a normal maid do that? 
than a group of normal people like us. Can we beat her? What part of me looks like a demon to you? I only fight back because that Daoist made the first move. You didn't expect me to just stand here and let him roast me, did you? She's so cute. How could a demon be that cute? I agree. How could demons actually exist? If she was a demon, we would all be dead by now. Don't listen to the demon. She's bewitching you with demonic arts. Shui Fei, you're no good at all. Low IQ and poor ethics. You're wholly unsuited to be with the emperor. You demon, you dare to insult me? What are you guys still waiting for? Kill that demon or else I'll punish all of you. What are you doing? Your majesty? Your majesty, you came at the perfect time. This lowly maid is a demon. You should stay away from her. She's lying. Fen Xiao, don't listen to her. I'm innocent. Did, did I hear that wrong? Did that maid just call the emperor by name? And she's hugging his arm in such an intimate manner. She's committed two taboos at once. She's dead for sure. You, maid. Crap, I'm too used to being a canary. I forgot that I'm borrowing a maid's identity right now. Apologies, your majesty. I lost myself for a moment. As this is your first offense, forget it. Strange, why do I not feel any anger despite this maid's offense? There's even an inexplicable feeling of wanting to get closer than that. What? She committed such a huge offense, but he let her off? It can't be that his majesty has fallen for her, can it? That maid must have purposefully put herself in that situation to attract the emperor's attention. Why didn't I think of something like that? Your majesty, you must not be deceived. She must be using demonic arts to bewitch you. Hurry and beat that demon to death. Are you telling me what to do? No, that's not. This concubine was only concerned for your majesty. Fend, your majesty, there's something wrong with this Shui Fei's head. This one is but a simple and ordinary gardener, but she's making me out to be a boar demon. She's gone too far. A boar demon? The wild part seems appropriate at least. What's this bastard emperor saying? Just how am I wild? You'll lose your cute little canary if you keep acting like this, you know? This damn demon, she's actually managed to bewitch the emperor. Not good. I can't let her succeed. A peachwood sword? Perfect. I'll force you to reveal your true form before his majesty. Die, demon! What? This woman is crazy. Look out! Fen Xiao? He blocked the sword for me? Why did I block it without thinking? Could it be that towards this maid, I- Your majesty, why would you block this sword for that maid? She's a demon. Silence! Fend, your majesty, you're injured. It's a small wound, there's nothing to worry about. Heavens, your majesty, you're bleeding, how is that a small wound? Quick, summon the imperial doctor. Your majesty, this one has failed you and is willing to die for it. I'm fine, what are you all yelling about? But as for you, Shuefei, you're quite bold. You dare attempt to assassinate me? Your Majesty, how could this concubine dare to try and assassinate you? This concubine was trying to kill that demon, Your Majesty. You've been bewitched by that demon. I've already told you that I'm not a demon. Could you stop being so bullheaded about it? The demon is trying to sow confusion again. Your Majesty, you must kill her quickly. Otherwise, she'll drain away your life force. Silence. Take a good look. Where do you see a demon? Servant! Drag Shuefei to the cold palace so she can cool off. Your majesty, you can't treat this concubine this way. Everything this concubine did was for you. That lowly maid is a demon. She'll bring you harm. You have to believe this concubine. A perfectly fine person, gone crazy just like that and for what? Great Confucius in heaven, bless and protect me. No one can see me. No one can see me. I almost forgot about that swindler who said I was a boar demon. Your majesty that swindler is trying to slip away. Capture him. Crap, I've been discovered. Your majesty please spare me. This one just received a little money from Shui Fei to expel a demon. This one has elders and children to care for. This one will never do something like this again. Drag him away and cane him 50 times, then throw him out of the imperial palace. I was wrong your majesty, please spare me. I've taken care of all the nuisances, now I can finally relax. Fend, no your majesty, thank you for all your help, I'll be going then. Freeze. That's, is there something else you need? You, maid, what's your name? Oh my name, it's Yoon, Yooner. I almost forgot that I'm playing someone else again. Yooner is it? I was injured because of you, and you're just going to walk away like that? Hey, didn't you just say it was a small wound? 
now you're using it too, men are so fickle. Your Majesty, if you're injured you should look for a doctor, Yunar can't do anything for you even if she stays. Why not? I want you to treat me. Me? Treat you? Imperial Quarters What is wrong with this emperor? He's got a perfectly good doctor available, yet he's still making me treat him. I was here first. I'm going to treat his majesty. Hmm? Why is it so noisy? No, I was here first. It was clearly me who was first. All of you move, I'm going to be the one to treat the emperor. What the hell? What is this? The concubines in this palace want to meet with the emperor that badly? To the point that they're brawling? All of you shut up. My position is the highest. Do you dare to compete with me? Wan Fei is here. We haven't got a chance. That's right. Shui Fei was sent to the cold palace, so now Wan Fei's sure to receive all the emperor's favor. Imperial concubine Wan, we wouldn't dare. As long as you know, the honor of treating his majesty must of course belong to me. That's good. Since someone else is fighting to be the one who treats the emperor, there's no need for me anymore. I'll just stay here and enjoy the show. What's going on? Where's the person who's going to apply the treatment? Why haven't they arrived yet? Eunuch, this concubine has arrived. Is the emperor impatient? Then this concubine will immediately go and- Imperial concubine one, this doesn't concern you. The emperor has already appointed someone to treat him. What? And it's not me? Who is it? It's Yunner. What are you doing? Hurry up and get in here to apply his majesty's treatment. What the heck? They're still looking for me. Hurry up, if the emperor's injury worsen, it'll be on you. Yes. Why has this bastard emperor got his eyes on me? Who is this? Why doesn't it seem like she's a concubine? Look at her uniform, it seems like she's a maid. What? A maid is being allowed to treat his majesty? How infuriating. Eunuch, you're saying that I'm lower than this maid? That's right sir eunuch, I'm just a lowly maid, let Wan Fei be the one to treat the emperor instead. Shut up. While I'm speaking how dare a lowly maid like you open your mouth. Is this lowly wench showing off in front of me on purpose? Does this Wan Fei have a brain? I'm trying to help her but she's attacking me. If that's how it's going to be, then let's really give her something to be angry about. Oh dear, there are thousands of beauties in this harem, but why is it that his majesty only favor me? I begged him to be more generous, but he wouldn't listen and insisted on only favoring me. How can the concubines possibly endure this? You slut, you dare to provoke me? I beg your pardon Wan Fei, but I truly don't have time to be provoking you, seeing as his majesty is still waiting for me to personally treat him. You are rude to me, so see if I don't anger you to death. Lowly maid, stop right there, you coquettish bitch. Imperial concubine Wan, please stop right there. Move aside eunuch, you saw it too, that lowly maid had no respect for me at all, I'm going to pulverize her. Imperial concubine one, if you disturb the emperor, you'll lose your head. Concubines, please go back. That damned maid, so her name is Yuner, is it? You'd better not let me catch you or it won't end well for you. Queen pregnancy goddess wanted me to find a concubine with a good character to bear the pregnancy. Clearly that Wan Fei doesn't fit the bill at all either. Looks like I'll have to keep searching. What took you so long? Are you trying to make my injury worse? Eh, Fen Xiao? It took a lot of time to retrieve the ointment. You're making me treat you personally and yet you're taking that attitude. If it wasn't because you took that sword for me, I'd throw this bottle right in your face. Oh, is that so? So it isn't because you took up time arguing with my concubines outside the gate? You even proclaimed that despite the thousands of beauties in my harem, I only favor you. What? Feng Xiao heard me provoking Wan Fei? Does he have superhuman hearing? That's, you must have misheard. Really? What else was there? You begged me to be more generous, but I wouldn't listen, and only favored you. Did I mishear that as well? What kind of crazy memory does he have? He managed to remember all of that word for word. Hearing the subject of it all saying those words himself, it's so embarrassing. So I said that, what of it? What, what are you planning to do about it? A little maid like you dares to challenge me? Who gave you such courage? It was Liang Jingru. Liang Jingru? Who's that? That's a very famous entertainer. Your majesty forget about that, let me treat your wound, we can't delay any longer. Fine, for your borrowing of my name to argue with the concubines, 
I'm willing to forgive you this once, but next time. Your Majesty, rest assured there won't be a next time. I'm embarrassed enough from this happening once, how could there possibly be a next time? Then what are you standing around for? Hurry up and treat me. I'm coming. Why are you taking off your clothes? What nonsense are you spouting? How do you plan to apply the treatment otherwise? Hurry up and get over here. Whatever, the sooner I finish the sooner I can leave. Your Majesty, I'll be applying the treatment now. Be gentle. I got it. I hate when women get close to me, and yet I don't feel any sense of rejection towards this maid. Just why is that? Hot damn, Fin Zhao's got such a great body, this feeling, those abs. That time by the lake I only got a glimpse from a distance, now that I'm experiencing it up close, it's almost too much, I want to. What was that sound? Ah, what sound? I didn't hear anything, your majesty I think you misheard. I can't admit it, I can't possibly be found out to be displaying behavior as indecent as drooling. Are you sure you didn't make any sound? You couldn't possibly be harboring any intentions towards me, could you? How could that be? I definitely wasn't after your body or anything. Are you still going to claim you have no intentions towards me? You're like a pouncing wolf. I didn't, I wasn't, don't talk nonsense. I fell by accident, I'll get up right now. Don't move. What's going on? My body feels strange, something I haven't felt in a long time. Hey let me go, what are you doing? Wait, why does it seem like I felt something? Just who are you? This woman was actually able to arouse me. I'm just an ordinary gardener, let me go. I was tricked, didn't this bastard emperor say he couldn't perform? Then what was that I just felt? Are you really just a gardener? I'm disgusted by women, and my body carries an old ailment. How was it that this woman was able to arouse me so easily? Hey Fin Xiao, I'm warning you, you better let me go right now. Don't think that I won't hit you just because you're hot, if I hit you, you'll cry. You dare to call me by my real name? I'm so scared, why don't you go ahead and hit me? This bastard emperor is trying to provoke me? Fine, I won't hold back then. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Your Majesty, the officials have been gathered in the Imperial study for a while now, are you- I'll be there in a moment, just wait outside. Count yourself lucky. Little gardener, I have something to attend to, tomorrow you'll continue with my treatment. What? Why do I still need to treat you? For what reason? The reason is that I'm the Emperor, good enough for you? Good enough. I'll tolerate it, this is all for the mission. Once the mission's finished, I'll teach this bastard Emperor a proper lesson. This little maid's attitude towards me is different from everybody else's, she's definitely not a normal person. Your name is Yuner, I'll remember you. This bastard Emperor really calling on me whenever he wants, he even tricked me and told me he couldn't perform, but earlier he was clearly. Wait. If he doesn't have any performance problems then doesn't that mean my mission will be a breeze to complete? As long as I can pick out a decent concubine and deliver her in front of him. What the heck? There's insurance fraud in the Imperial Palace too? Imperial Concubine Chen, are you alright? We concubines know that you're in pain for his majesty, but you have to take care of yourself. You've already gone a whole day without eating or drinking in order to pray for him, your body can't take much more of this. Chen Fei? What number lead is she? I've never seen her before. Chen Fei. There's no need to mind me, so long as his majesty recovers, it doesn't matter if I die. Imperial concubine, your dedication to his majesty is as bright as the sun and as true as the stars. If true love exists in this world, then only your love for the emperor could possibly be considered so. This one is truly moved beyond words. Oi, now you guys are just overacting. Feng Xiao only got a tiny little injury, didn't he? If you didn't know better, you'd think he was dying. Ah the maid, I was praying here and noticed you exiting his majesty's imperial quarters, how is his majesty's condition? Replying to imperial concubine, the emperor is fine, though I have to come back tomorrow to continue treating him. What? You have to go again tomorrow? Ahem, I've been so anxious about his majesty's health, would it be possible for you to give the opportunity to treat him tomorrow to me instead? If this little maid isn't willing to let me, then don't blame me for being cruel. Imperial concubine, you want to treat his majesty? Why didn't you say so earlier? I'll leave it to you. You're really giving it to me? 
thank you. What reward would you like? I'm willing to give you anything. There's no need for a reward. I only wish to see your sincerity towards the emperor. I'm willing to help you succeed. The emperor must have had this maid treat him because he's taken a fancy to her. She absolutely can't be allowed to get close to his majesty in the future. Little maid, you're all right. I'll assign you an easy task in exchange. Thank you, Imperial Concubine. Finally managed to shake this annoying task. Reached a friendly agreement. I'll be taking my leave then, Imperial Concubine. I'll just sneakily keep an eye on them tomorrow, and if I succeed then my mission will be over. Imperial Concubine, that lowly maid didn't even bow once before leaving, she clearly doesn't respect you at all. No matter, she was still quite tactful nonetheless, so I'll forgive her this time. What's important right now is that I'll be meeting with the Emperor tomorrow, I definitely can't waste this opportunity. You're so beautiful, you're sure to get what you want. Come back to the palace with me, I'm going to wash up and get ready. Yes. The Emperor has never shown favor to any Imperial Concubine before, if I can receive his favor tomorrow then this entire harem will become my domain. The next day. Yesterday I gave the opportunity to treat the Emperor to Chen Fei, she should be heading over now, so I've got to go and keep an eye on the mission progress. If everything goes smoothly, I'm going to get my promotion and a raise. This is a good spot unobstructed, direct view will certainly make for an excellent viewing experience. Your Majesty. She's here, Chin Fei is on screen. The show is about to begin. Your Majesty, this concubine is here to treat you. I purposely applied some aphrodisiac on myself, once the Emperor smells it, he'll definitely go wild and pounce. Why is it you? Your Majesty, it was that little maid who handed the task of treating you to this concubine. This concubine is worried about your injuries as well, so just let this- Get out! Well, well, little gardener, so you dared to hand off your task to someone else? You're dead. Such scary rage, isn't it just applying some treatment? What's he so angry for? Just hurry up and pounce on Chen Fei already. Your Majesty, this concubine truly likes you a lot. How could you be so cold to this concubine? What's that smell? Crap, it feels like my ailment is acting up again. It's working. His Majesty didn't push me away. With the aphrodisiac on top of my looks, forget the emperor, even a Daoist saint would have to watch himself. Hurry up and pounce, and be fierce about it. You're seeking death. Chin Fei, you're quite daring. What have you done to me? This concubine didn't do anything. What has he noticed? I definitely can't confess. Get out, get out right now or else I'll have your life. Damn it, what was that smell? to be able to trigger the ailment that I'd barely managed to stabilize. What's going on? This isn't the right script, shouldn't the path have been a direct route to the bed? What the heck is with this new development? Can't suppress it any longer. Feng Xiao. Did he relapse again? You're certainly one heck of an emperor, fainting left and right and needing me to come and save you again. I'm not giving you any divine chi this time, we're going straight in with the special medicine. This fairy wine can even raise the dead, one sip can cure a normal person of any illness, so it should definitely be able to suppress your ailment. That should be enough. Let's give him another sip, he'll get better even faster. Whatever, let's just give him all of it, this way when he wakes up he'll be as strong as a dragon and I'll be able to finish my mission sooner too. Things should be okay now. Hey Feng Xiao. Saving you a second time is a huge investment, you know. You're not allowed to keep causing me so much trouble in the future, got it? That said though, Feng Xiao really doesn't have it easy either. Having to keep up a dignified front as the emperor all the time, and only showing this kind of gentle expression when he's passed out. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll come and see you again tomorrow. The next day. I fainted. But it doesn't feel like there's anything wrong, in fact there's even a warmth in my dantian. Wait. My hands, why are they so small? This, what is happening? I've turned into a child. Your Majesty, I'm here to apply your treatment, has your injury healed a bit? Feng Xiao drank the fairy wine yesterday, so he should be healthy as a tiger now, I'll have to take a look. Why is there a child in the Emperor's bedroom? Where did you get in from? 
Where's his majesty? There must be some sort of plot behind my shrinking. I definitely can't reveal my identity or the person behind this will find their opportunity. Why aren't you speaking? Little cutie, it can't be that you haven't learned how to talk yet, right? Looking closely, you look a lot like Feng Xiao, don't you? Could you be his illegitimate child? Such nonsense. Get your hands off me. I'm... You do know how to talk. Just now, you said I'm... Impossible. I'm not an illegitimate child. That was close. Almost got revealed. That's true. If you were Fen Zhao's illegitimate child, then there would be no need for me to be here. Then little cutie, you should hurry up and head back, okay? This bedroom isn't somewhere you should be staying. Be careful if someone sees you here, they'll capture you. This maid is right. With the way I am right now, it wouldn't be good to stay here. Looks like relying on this woman for now is the only choice. I want to go with you. No way. I still have work to do. I have to hurry up and find the emperor to complete my mission. This woman, there's no other choice. I'll have to. I have nowhere to go. You really can't take me with you? Good lord. Too cute. Who would believe that a dignified ruler would have to stoop to these measures? Okay, come with me then. But I didn't change my mind just because you're cute. It's because caring for children is an adult's obligation, in order to foster respect for one's elders and a respectable character. Got it. This woman, she's a sucker for looks after all. Outside the main palace. Not only did I not see Fen Xiao, I even ended up with a kid, and I still don't know where Fen Xiao went. You lowly maid, so you are here after all. I've found you at last. Wan Fei? Imperial concubine Wan, why are you looking for me? Wench, who was it that mocked me in front of the palace the other day? A lowly wench like you dared to disrespect me? Today I'm going to teach you a lesson. You waited for me for two days just over that? Are you really that petty of a concubine? Shut up, who are you to insult me? Ha, huh? a child? How bold of you, lowly wench, these are the emperor's imperial quarters, and yet you dare to wander around in plain sight with a child at your side? You have no respect for his majesty at all. Hey Wan Fei, if you have a problem with me, so be it but don't drag the child into it. Is this child so important to you? Could he be your illegitimate demon spawn? I'd like to see just what form this vile spawn of yours. Don't touch me, filth. You little bastard, you dare to insult me? And to slap my hand? This one Fei pretended to be so gentle and obedient before me, but was actually so vicious, yet I can't do anything about her the way I am now. This lady is bullying me. Wan Fei, what kind of adult bullies a child? You're a disgrace. A bastard child like him, even if I killed him then what? Drag them away and beat them to death, then chop them to pieces and feed them to the mountain beasts. Yes. This Wan Fei is even more vicious than I had thought. This maid probably won't be able to deal with her. It seems like I'll have to take action secretly after. Wait. Hmm, could she have some sort of plan? What is it? Going to beg? Let me tell you, even if you kneel and crack your head open on the ground, I still won't let you go. Wan Fei, there's a child here. I don't want him to suffer any bad influences. But if you force me, then don't blame me if I- What are you planning? Could it be that you're planning to hit me? A lowly wench like you sure talks a big talk. If you dare lay a hand on me, I'll send your whole family to the grave with you. I have no choice then. Sorry it seems I might have to show you the ugly world of adults before your time. Cover your eyes okay? Okay. What is this maid planning? A lowly little maid like you dares to make a move? Come on then, I'm forcing you so go ahead and hit me. If you hit. Imperial concubine. You, you actually, you actually dared to hit me? Weren't you the one who told me to? I've never met such a masochist before. That's, you're certainly not an average person, little maid. You, you slut. What are you standing around for? We'll chop this slut into a thousand pieces. What's going on? So noisy. Chin Fei? It's that damned woman, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have fainted due to a relapse and ended up turning into a child. Oh my, little sis Wan Fei, what happened to you? What a large handprint on your face, is that a new kind of makeup? 
Chin Fei stop spouting nonsense, why are you here? Of course I'm here because I'm concerned for his majesty's health, and came to check up on him, but I never expected to run into Wan Fei, that look of yours is. He he. Had I not been concerned that his majesty was going to punish me for what happened yesterday and come to investigate, I wouldn't have gotten to see Wan Fei in such a sorry state. You. I don't have time to bother with you right now, just wait until I've dealt with this lowly wench, then we can get around to catching up. Lowly wench? Isn't that the maid whom the emperor ordered to apply his treatment? That works, I'll just take advantage of that idiot Wan Fei to deal with her too. Oh my, I never thought that the dignified Wan Fei would end up so badly beaten by a maid. It seems like you haven't been living very well in the harem, if no one respects you. Shut up. I'm one of the four highest ranks in this harem, who would dare to disrespect me? Watch me deal with this lowly wench right now. Wan Fei, are you sure you want to deal with me here? These are the emperor's imperial quarters, if you do away with me in such a noisy manner, aren't you afraid you'll give yourself a malicious reputation? What if the emperor hears of it? You. The maid has a point, in my opinion you should just let it go. Wan Fei. All you did was take a slap to the face, you'll only have to suffer a few days of humiliation, it's nothing you can't bear. Shut your mouth, you guys get over here and grab this lowly maid. What's that Chen Fei doing? That whole heap of pointed language is forcing Wan Fei to make a move, is she trying to start something? Fine then, I'm going to have some fun with you guys. Chen Fei, just what are you trying to do? All I'm trying to do is make Wan Fei kill you, it would be great if you two ended up dying together, that would make me happier than anything. Hang on, why did I say my actual intentions? Well well Chen Fei, I knew that you couldn't have had any good intentions. So it turns out that you wanted to use me to kill this lowly maid, and even end up dying with her? Why don't you just go and die yourself? That wasn't my intention, this maid is so kind and pretty. Of course I want her dead, in fact it would be great if she was chopped into pieces and fed to the dogs, and you ended up with a vicious reputation, then my wishes would finally be fulfilled. You white lotus bitch, you, you're even bold enough to say such sinister schemes out loud? Do you really take me for that much of a fool? You've always been an idiot, what's surprising about that? Not long ago, I stole your shift and gave it to a chamberlain, I was planning to make it look like you were having an affair, now that's a scheme. What's going on? My mouth, why can't I control what I'm saying? What's wrong with Chen Fei? Heavens, so Chen Fei was such a vicious person? I always thought she was kind and honest. She said her schemes out loud, just like that? Did Chen Fei go crazy? So all my concubines had such toxic personalities? Damn you Chen Fei, an affair is punishable by death. Are you trying to kill me? I'm going to tear you apart. Let me go! It hurts. You idiot, you're so stupid, you look like a pig, don't think I'm scared of you. You dare scheme to harm me? I'll kill you. Ack, that hurts. Marvelous. The women in this harem are truly frightening, no wonder the emperor never gets close to women, who could possibly deal with this. Yeah, women are scary. Just let them fight, it has nothing to do with us. Little cutie, let's go. Let go. You let go first. For my concubines to be so disgraceful, I can't watch this anymore. Imperial concubine Wan, stop fighting. These are the imperial quarters. It'll be bad if we disturb the emperor. Very well, Chen Fei, you bitch. Just you wait. Today's location wasn't ideal. Next time I'll definitely settle the score. Let's go. Damn it, the one that Wan Fei was after was clearly that maid. So why am I the one who ended up like this? Hang on, that child. How can he resemble the emperor so much? Impossible. Could he be a child between his majesty and that maid? I have to figure out the truth behind this, and as for that maid, I definitely won't forget this. Little guy, this is where I live. Us maids have some pretty crude housing, so if you want to stay with me, you'll have to tolerate living here. It's fine, I don't care. Are you alright? This is, I haven't really cleaned my room, I didn't realize there was this much dust. 
After entering the palace, I've been sleeping in the imperial quarters every night. With accommodations like those, I really haven't spent much time at all in the maid's quarters. You, how long would you have to go without cleaning for it to end up like this? Not that long, just one or two months or so, maybe? Oh my, look how dirty you've gotten, big sis will get a bath ready for you first. What, a bath? No thank you, I don't need one, I decline. How can a child not value cleanliness? Nope, you have to take one. Let me go, I don't wanna. Don't be shy, big sis will take care of you. I never thought there would come a day when I would be forcibly stripped by a woman, this is humiliating. It's improper for men and women to have such relations, you're a woman. You, how could you do something like this? All I'm doing is giving you a bath, it's not like I'm asking for your life. In any case, you're still small, you're not a man yet. Small? You're the small one. I'm big. Okay, okay, you're the biggest alright? Children really are immature. Speaking of, what's your name little guy? My name is Feng, Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng? What a coincidence, the emperor's name has a Feng character too. And I still don't know where that emperor has gone, I left right after feeding him the medicine yesterday. If I'd known this was going to happen then. What? You fed him medicine? That's right, the emperor fainted last night and I brought out my family's medicine recipe to save him. Forget it, why am I telling a kid like you? You wouldn't understand. No wonder my ailment was gone when I woke up this morning, so it was because this maid saved me, but how did I become a child? Could it also have something to do with this maid's medicine? All clean. What? I'll dry you off. Wait, I'll do it myself, don't touch me. Oh my, what are you embarrassed about? Big Sis has already helped you bathe anyway, right? It was you who forced me to do that too. Forced is such an unpleasant way to put it, Big Sis was doing it for your own good. I definitely didn't have any other intentions. Whoa, so soft, such smooth skin, it feels so nice. You, that's enough. Okay, you're nice and clean now, let's get some sleep. What? We're sleeping together? I'm not sleeping with you. How would that work? There's only one bed, if you don't sleep with me then who are you going to sleep with? Besides, I'm not forcing you, what if you wet the bed in the middle of the night? Who's going to wet the bed? I certainly won't. Okay, okay, you won't wet the bed, big sis was wrong. You know even your angry face is still really cute. This woman is messing with me, is she treating me as a pet? No. I have to figure out a way to change back as quickly as possible. You mentioned before that you fed the emperor some medicine, did it work? Of course it worked, what I gave him was an incredibly rare medicine that can extend one's lifespan and cleanse one's spirit. It's more effective than black cocoa, North American ginseng and 23 Genway vitamin tablets. What nonsense is that, hearing that makes it sound even more unreliable. I won't be permanently stuck like this because of her, right? Speaking of him, I really don't know where that emperor could have gone. Are you worried about him? It couldn't be that you like the emperor. Who would like him? He's narcissistic, domineering, and scrupulous and keeps taking liberties with a petty maid like me. There are so many beauties in the harem, yet he doesn't bestow his favor on any of them, it's such a waste. He really troubles me to no end. So that's the type of person that Emperor was in your mind, huh? Well, I'm so sorry that you're troubled to that extent. Why are you saying sorry? It's not like this matter has anything to do with you. But don't tell the Emperor that, if you meet him okay? As the Emperor, he needs to save some face after all. Okay, I won't tell him for sure. This woman, just wait until I become an adult again, you're dead. You're such a good boy, little cutie. It's late. Let's go to sleep. Wait, you. Whatever, I'll tolerate this for a bit. It's no good. I didn't see Fen Xiao all day today. I can't sleep. By this hour, he has to have returned to the Imperial quarters, right? Xiao Fen is asleep. Since that's how it is, I'll just sneak out to the Imperial quarters and take a look. I'll have to be quick or Xiao Fen might notice. Target acquired. Go. What are you making that racket for in the middle of the night, huh? Strike. Crap. 
Who are these people? This brat is pretty quick on his feet. Damn it, I have no power at all after becoming a child. Where did that woman run off to? She's not hurt, right? Weird, this is weird. I went to the Imperial quarters, but Fen Shao wasn't there. Just where did he go? Fen Shao couldn't have been killed by someone, right? How can he have a child if he's not even here? My mission is doomed. Wait. Speaking of children, it feels like I might be forgetting something. Where's Xiao Feng? These are knife marks? Not good. Did something happen to Xiao Feng? Chen Main Courtyard. As Chen Fei ordered, we've brought the child. Where is this? Didn't Imperial Concubine Chen order that maid to be brought along as well? We didn't see the maid when we went. Chen Fei, is this Chen Fei's place? What did she kidnap me for? Father, that's the child. He looks just like the Emperor. He looks to be about six or seven years old. He can't possibly be the Emperor's child. Why not? But his appearance is clearly. Don't ask any more about this matter. This isn't the Emperor's child. That's all you need to know. Outer officials shouldn't be in the harem, so I'll be leaving first. Clean things up here. What do Father's words mean? How is he so sure that this child doesn't belong to the Emperor? Who cares, it's better if he's not the Emperor's bastard. That way, even if I kill him, nothing will happen to me. Damn it. I breathed in too much of the drug back there. I can't move, there's no way for me to run. Servant, come and take care of this child. Chin Fei? Why do you want to kill me? If you want to blame something, blame it on how much you look like the Emperor. I thought you were his illegitimate child. You caused me quite a shock. But now that I know that you don't belong to the Emperor, it's perfect. It's even less of a problem now if you die. How could Chin Fei know that I couldn't have a child? Could it be that she knows about my ailment? Hurry up, kill this child and then clean it up. Don't let anyone see. And that maid, once you've dealt with him, go capture and kill her immediately. Yes. Stop. It's that maid. Let that kid go. You came at the perfect time. Is she here to save me? Well, well, Chin Fei, you're even willing to take such measures against a child. Do you have an ounce of humanity left? You actually delivered yourself straight into our hands. That saves us the trouble. Kill this maid as well. Yes. A little weak maid is nothing. Just watch me. What? You guys move, kill that maid. Yes. Not good. There are too many people and they're wielding sabers. This woman will definitely lose. You, maid, get out of here. I don't need you to save me. How can I do that? Xiao Feng, just be good and stay right there. Big sis will bring you back home soon. You still want to take this brat home? Why don't you go ahead and reunite in the underworld? Oh? And you guys are going to make that happen? She broke the blade? Is she the Iron Fan Princess? My dancing fan is a divine weapon that can't even be scratched by metal. Even if I don't use my divine arts, I can still take you all out using just this fan. Is this maid really an ordinary person? My harem truly is filled with people hiding their strength. No way. How can that maid be so powerful? No, I have to save myself. I've got it. You maid, don't move, otherwise I'll kill this boy. Crap. Chin Fei, you'd actually use a child as a hostage. You're not fit to be called human. Shut up. If you want this kid to keep his life, then kill yourself in front of me right now. Otherwise, I'll kill him right now. Wait, stop messing around. I can kill myself, just don't hurt him. Since it's come to this, I'll have to risk exposing myself by using my divine arts. That lowly maid really does value this child. I made the right gamble. As soon as she dies, I can kill him and then no one will know what I've done. This woman will kill herself because of me. No, I won't allow it. You disgraceful little bastard, die already. Xiao Feng. I got thrown aside. No. And actually fell into the lake. This is fine too, at least that woman won't die because of me.
Is this woman stupid? She actually jumped in too. Got him. This woman was willing to dive in to save me. Not good, a canary underwater is even more useless than a chicken. I'm not good at swimming and I'm carrying Xiao Feng. I should just use a divine art to save Xiao Feng first and worry about it later. Xiao Feng shouldn't notice anything, right? What? How come Xiao Feng has an automatically reflecting jade pendant too? Not good, I'm going to pass out. I have to push Xiao Feng out of the lake first. What happened? Wait, that woman suddenly. Not good, I have to save her. Hey little maid, wake up. Crap, my child's body is too weak, I can't pull this woman up at all. I'm almost out of air, it hurts. Why, why did I have to become small? Can it be that all I'm able to do is watch powerless, as this woman dies? Why, this woman is clearly only in this situation because she was trying to save me. I will not allow her to die. If we live, we live together. If we die, we die together. Your life belongs to me. I didn't expect that I would actually change back at the crucial moment. Could it be because I was so desperate to save this woman that I became an adult again? Woman, wake up. After being in the water for so long, she's okay, right? Didn't I sink into the lake? Right, it seemed as if there was a man who pulled me up, and then it felt like there was something warm on my lips. Something warm? No way, right? I definitely didn't get kissed underwater, right? That was definitely a dream, right? You're awake. Feng Xiao? What are you doing here? Were you the one who saved me? That's right. I had some free time, so I went for a swim, and just happened to see you fall in the water and pulled you out. Then did you see Xiao Feng? He's a little boy, a really cute little boy, he fell into the water with me. This woman thinks I'm cute? I saw him, I sent people to bring him away to rest. Thank goodness. But why would Xiao Feng have a jade pendant that's exactly like Feng Zhao's, causing me to lose consciousness from the rebound? Could that kind of jade pendant be wholesale? A common item? Bulk discount on protective jade pendants, 3 for a dollar, 10 for 3 dollars, you'll regret not buying, not buying would be the real scam. Hurry up and search. Chin Fei's voice? Those two jumped in the lake and escaped, hurry up and find them for me. Yes. The lake is only this big, those two definitely won't get away. Keep this in mind, they absolutely can't be allowed to live. Relax Imperial Concubine Chen, who knows, they might have already sunk to bottom and drowned. And even if they are still alive, they're likely on their last breaths, killing them will be a simple matter. Who was it? Who's daring enough to assault me? That would be me. What? That maid still isn't dead? Everyone quick, kill her now. Again with the quick kill her bit, I'm going to teach you a proper lesson. Let me. Feng Xiao? Your Majesty? We greet your Majesty. Chin Fei, you're certainly quite daring to kill so unscrupulously in my harem. Do you hold any respect for me at all? That's not it, your Majesty. This one didn't do it on purpose. It was this cruel and vicious maid who made the first move and hit this one. Oh, is that so? It's the truth, your Majesty. There are even maids still lying unconscious in this one's courtyard right now. You might not know what's transpired, but you must not let her fool you. No one knows what has transpired more clearly than I do. Chin Fei, you dared to lay a hand on her. Do you want to die? It hurts your majesty. She's just a lowly maid. Shut up. This woman may be a maid today, but tomorrow I could make her the empress and the master of the harem. What? Your majesty, that maid is of low birth and has no right power, talent, nor virtue. How could she be suited to the position of empress? Whether she is or not is none of your concern, because after this nothing shall concern you any longer. Come. Your Majesty. Kane Shin Fei fifty times then drag her to the cold palace. Without my command she is not to be released. What? Yes, sir. Your Majesty, 
All this one wanted to do was to kill a lowly little maid. How could this one receive such a heavy punishment? It's heavy, is it? You should feel lucky to still be alive. Drag her away. No, your majesty. This one was wrong. Please forgive this one. If it wasn't for Chin Fei seeming to be aware of my old ailment, I wouldn't even be keeping her alive. Keep an eye on Chin Fei. If she makes any strange moves, report back to me. Yes, sir. Imperial Quarters I've punished Chin Fei for you, so you need not worry any further. She'll no longer be able to harm you. She couldn't hurt me anyway. However, I must thank your majesty. Your majesty, huh? 